Today, I want to talk about journaling. And my name is Jason, and I am a pastor. Uh, I'm a dad, I'm a husband. Uh, I'm also a, a, a hobbyist stand up comedian. And, and so, writing is something that has been a key part of my life for a long time. And so, in my previous video on journaling, I talked about my, my goal to have 10 minutes of joke writing every day. And in that 10 minutes, uh, you know, I take the ideas that come to mind and I try to formulate a joke. Most of the stuff in this journal is never going to be spoken into a microphone, uh, but it is something that is intended to just help me process the ideas and find clarity. And journaling has been something that I've done off and on, uh, mainly to try to get to productivity. And so I would write out to-do lists and different things to try to be more productive. Uh, and so last year when, uh, I was kind of feeling overwhelmed and there was some things that, um, I was like trying to get my handle handles on that. I could not, uh, process just in my brain space. I had to get it out of my brain onto paper. And that's when I read the bullet journal method by writer Carol. Uh, and this is something that's been around for a long time. It is not new. Um, but it was something that I had never really put a lot of time investigating. Uh, and so I read the book. I was like, oh, I can do this. The bullet journal method was very simple uh, and encouraged uh, the more than just like doing to-do lists, it encouraged uh, clarity and trying to understand why we do what we do. And so a lot of my journaling uh, practice has been following a modified version of the bullet journal. And I started uh, with... Uh, this is my first journal uh, in ju uh, July 23 uh, to September 23. And so I started with this this journal, and it is the official bullet method journal. I just went down to Barnes & Noble and bought one. Um, and it's set up uh, a lot of the way that uh, writer Carol talks about setting it up in his book. Um, but it, it really is a lot of you know simple bullet points, one-line descriptions of things. Um, but then it, he encourages journalers to take some time to reflect on what they are writing and what they are doing and, and the why. And so, so much of what has switched for me and why journaling has become more helpful for me uh, in the last uh, nine months really is because instead of trying to journal for productivity, my... my inclination has become journaling for clarity and and that has been like a great key for, for for me because you can be very productive and not know why you're doing what you're doing you can be very productive and not really hold on to the purpose for everything that you are working toward and so uh so i finished in september 23 finished this one and this this was my my first go, and inside this journal, um, I had, you know, habit trackers and different things that he encouraged setting up. Um, but then I started to modify my template a little bit, and I'll talk about that in another video uh, in the future. But yeah, so this this is my first one, and so in October through December is I did another one, and so I'm finding myself going through these these journals quarterly, which is an investment. Um, and so, but I can see what I've been up to and why I've been doing the things that I've been doing and the value of my work. Uh, and so now I'm about to wrap up my third, uh, my third journal. Uh, this is started in January of 24. I know the finish in March and I'm just, I'm, I'm almost there. I'm just about at the end uh, for page count here. Um, and so, uh, yeah, the key piece for me in all of this has been journal for clarity. And one of the things as I've watched a lot of different journal videos and different ideas and like trying to figure out what's the optimal template for journaling. And, um, the biggest thing that I had to get over was my journal is not going to be pretty. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people who have a journaling aesthetic that good for you. Good for you. I love that. 
that's great for you. I don't have the time for that. And I don't really have the artistic bend to do that. Uh, and so my journals are, my journals are ugly. Like I just write. And one of the early things to do is if you have a journal that you put some money into and you are nervous about, uh, you know, messing it up just on the first page, just start writing something like, this is the first thing I wrote. And then you've already broken the seal on the beautiful journal. And so you can just keep moving forward. And that's something that I, I learned from Merlin Mann uh, years ago on the Back to Work podcast with Merlin Mann and Dan Benjamin. Uh, Merlin talked about just just start writing in it. Just start making things. And uh, And so in this journal, I have my daily schedule. I have the tasks that I need to do. I have a health tracker. I have weekly spreads, monthly spreads. I have all of these different things that help me kind of keep things moving forward. And every day in this journal, I have time for reflection and prayer. As a pastor, um, prayer is something that I, I cannot neglect, but it's it's something that is easy to say, oh yeah, I prayed. Um, but when I actually write it down, I'm like, no, I, I, have a, I have a record of prayer. And I can go back and say, you know what? I prayed for my friend Bill on March 2nd and uh, and I'm going to keep praying for Bill and I can see that prayer and when that prayer is answered I can rejoice that the prayer has been answered and so yeah the key piece for for me in this journaling video that I, I you know if you take anything from this is journaling for clarity is better than journaling for productivity because you can find that you are very productive but that does not equal that you have clarity about why you're doing what you're doing but if you find that you are working towards clarity, your productivity becomes greater and more meaningful. And I think all of us want to have meaningful work. All of us want to be, want to be able to say, like, I am doing the things that I know that I need to be doing. And so that, that's, my, that's what I wanted to share today in this brief video about journaling um, and so when I finish this one, I already have my April journal ready to go. Found some stickers at Comic-Con. Uh, and so, um, but this is not the official bullet journal uh, met, uh, method brand. This is just a Loic term 1917 journal uh, dotted grid. And I'll make a video showing how I, I'm going to set up for April one the time comes. And so, yeah, thank you. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you uh, would be so kind as to like, share, subscribe, all the things, I'd really appreciate that. Um, and if you have any things that you disagree with, write that below as well. That'd be great. And uh, yeah, I hope that you find a system that works for you and that your work and your efforts and your projects become more clear and yeah, as a byproduct become more productive.